somebody asked me the other day, well, what, what do you think is, what do you feel like is the best objection to your argument here? You know, you've been out here for five years and you've been debating this on the internet. No, nobody's produced a code that wasn't designed and nobody's overturned this argument. They go, what's, what's the best argument? Well, first of all, what is your argument, though? Your argument is this is the best uh, field of research? Well, is that, the, is that the, your... this, is, this is the most elegant explanation. Um, it... It's a, well, it's a legitimate explanation, it's a, it's and, it's a the, and, and therefore it's a candidate. It should be in the list of candidates, and it's the most elegant. That's your argument? Right. Okay. And, it, and it leads to the most inquiry because it leads you to ask purposeful questions. Now, that's interesting because most people would quickly say this one cuts off inquiry. No. Right. And, and, and here, here's, here's why. It goes back to the history of science, okay? Science got started in ancient China and never went anywhere. Science got started in ancient Greece and it sputtered and died. Science got started in ancient Rome, sputtered and died. It got started in Islam and sputtered and died. Why did it go somewhere in Western Europe? I mean, and it went somewhere, mm -hmm. as we all know. Why did it go somewhere there and not all these other places? My argument is because Western Europe had a theology to support it and the other cultures didn't. Mm -hmm. Okay, the Greeks believe that it's thundering today because Zeus and Apollo are, are in a snit. Mm -hmm. Okay, and, and it, everything could be arbitrary, explained to arbitrary gods. Right. Everything was a god of the gaps. Though. Right, and it, and, and it, it was arbitrary, okay? Um, ancient China, same sort of thing, okay? Rome, same sort of thing. In Islam, the will of Allah was considered to be inscrutable. It's like, the world does what Allah wants to do, okay? But Christian theology had a different idea. In, in the Apocrypha book, uh, Wisdom of Solomon, it says, what is, Wisdom of Psalm 11, 21 says, Thou hast ordered all things in weight and number and measure. Okay, that was written 3,000 years ago. Weight and number and measure. You can weigh, count, and measure everything. Hmm. Okay? And, that idea, and so there was, there was this idea in the Middle Ages that, that came from the theologians, which said, we think God made a world that could run itself. Okay. That, that, that kind of, it eventually led to ideas about deism, I think, but God was able to wind up the world and get the whole thing started, and it could run on its own. And it runs according to laws, okay. fixed discoverable laws, weight and number and measure. Mm -hmm. Let's look for the laws. Mm -hmm. and, it, and that is the philosophical foundation of science. It originally came from theology. It didn't come from Islam. It didn't come from Eastern mysticism. It didn't come from Greek and Roman mythology. It certainly didn't come from atheism. It came from a Christian view that the world was orderly. Yeah, and, the, and, and it's no accident that people like Newton and Galileo and Boyle and Maxwell saw their work as, I am discovering the mind of God. Mm -hmm. I am worshiping God by discovering how all this works. And so now, now today we take all that for granted. Yes, of course, the universe operates according to fixed discoverable laws and, and the physical sciences have been extremely successful. 